Well, in my last 25 years of my work experience, what I have realized and understood is that there are no business problem, there are always people problem. And these people problems are mainly because of the trust factor that people have with their managers or their leaders. Wherever there is no trust or poor trust or lack of trust, it simply means that people fear to take actions, fear to take risk, and they fear failures. And that's why they feel isolated. They feel that there is no one to support them and they do not like their managers. And due to which the business suffers, the results suffers, and people remain disengaged. And finally, they quit the job and they say that, my boss had a poor leadership skills due to which I left or maybe I left because of my boss, not because of my organization. On the other hand, when I said that when there is a high trust with the team and the and the immediate manager, the difference is completely there because people are highly engaged, people are high achieving results and people are involved in what they are doing. And that's what makes a great leader in his team basis that trust factor that he or she is able to build up and that works uh, together in bringing out the best not only from the manager but also from their teammates. So in simple words, what makes you to move from a good to a great leader is one big factor we call it as trust. If you have built a good trust with your team, your team is definitely going to give more out of them, take more risk, they don't fear failures, they want to try new things, innovate new things and achieve bigger results for the organization. And if it is not there, the trust is not there, it's exactly the opposite. So higher the trust, the higher is authenticity, empathy and humanity. In the next section, I will take you through what it takes to become a trustable leader in your team. And I think these factors are going to tell you what all you need to do to become a great leader. So I'm sure by now you would have understood that what role trust plays when it comes to building great teams, what, what role trust plays if it is there, how it can make an organization big. But the bigger concern for a lot of organization and leaders are today is post pandemic. Because post pandemic, there are a lot of dynamics which have changed in the work environment for the employees as well as for organizations and the middle management leadership. Let me now take you through some of the very important concepts that will help you that what if the trust is not there between the teammates and the organization or the middle leaders who are playing an important role. Now imagine what if trust is not is, is lacking at the workplace, what can it lead to? If the trust is not there, you will see that the hybrid or remote workforce will not work. I'm sure you would have seen that post pandemic, there are a lot of remote work is taking place, which has now slowly and steadily converted into an hybrid model. Now, if you do not trust your people, how would you expect them to give their best when they're working from home or working for some other country, some other location that they are in? Number two, if the trust is not there, you will also see that there is no meaningful experience for an employee to continue their relationship with you. They will lose the interest. They will not, they will not be able to give their 100%. If they are not linked, if they are not connected to the whole purpose, the organization and the leadership is trying to drive, such as the importance of trust. Not only that, if you do not have trust at your workplace, you won't be able to engage and retain top talent. One of the very important things that I said in the beginning that the first thing that people say when they lose, when they leave their job is that they were not properly engaged or they did not get the right kind of guidance from their immediate supervisor. Not only that, it will also help if the trust is not there, it will not be able to maintain or build your brand reputation because your people are not committed at the workplace. They are not talking from their heart. They are just doing the job for the sake of doing. And that will not reflect right in the part of the brand or the organizational image that they are putting up. So let me give you an example. So for example, I'm not engaged at my work. I'm not very happy with my boss. What will I do? Will I be able to attract more talent to the organization? Or would I be more busy in searching for my job 
outside and talking to job consultants or various networkers to help me to find a new job. And when they will ask me that why I want to do that, the simplest reason that I will say that I'm not happy with my current organization. So, and, and, when, and when you dig, dig a little deeper, you will see that the reason of this disengagement is lack of trust. What else it can do? It will, if there is a lack of trust at the workplace, you will see that it is very difficult to grow your business and get your desired results. So I want you to just think about it. Any organization right now where you feel that that organization is struggling to achieve that goal, they are just having a lot of attrition at this time. People are talking negative about it. They are full of stress. What does it lead to? It simply leads to lack of trust between an individual or a particular team with their leader or a leader with his own leadership team. So we have discussed all about what are the gaps that will happen when you lack trust. Now, in the next section, I'm going to tell you now that what a leader can do to become a trustworthy leader with his or her team and how that can really help it. So there are certain behaviors that a leader has to exhibit, a leader has to walk the talk to ensure that people trust him. And once that trust is built, nothing can stop an organization, a leader to achieve the goals. So as a leader, being trustworthy means, number one, doing what you say and you will do. Very simple. If I commit to do certain steps for the well-being of my employee in their career development, in their skill development, or helping them solve their problems, then I must do, even if I have to go and put their case to the top management that why you need an approval to run a particular campaign or, uh, or extra budget to ensure that you have one more additional headcount to achieve your goals. And once you do that, you will see that your team will look up to you being dependable. They will look up to you being consistent in what you say and what you do. If this is missing, you will lose the trust. The next point is being approachable and friendly. A lot of leaders who are really admired, they are the one who are always approachable. They always have time for their people. Whenever you call them, they are ready to listen to you. They are ready to give their ear to understand what is your problem. And let me tell you, half of the problem is solved only by listening. And that's the key point a lot of leaders miss out. They only want to tell, tell, and tell, but they do not want to listen. And they are not friendly and they are not approachable. But if you are friendly and approachable, you will see that people will trust leaders they like. And the liking is coming because they are seeing you more approachable. They are not seeing you from a distance that if I call him, he, what he will say, he will, will he put me in a corner? If that is the case, I'm sure you will see the trust is getting breached. The next factor is being a champ of emotions. Now, if you really want to be a great leader, you need to be very strong in your emotional intelligence. If you understand that what your people are going through, are, are you empathizing with them? Are you being considerate of them that they are trying hard, but they are not achieving? I've seen a lot of leaders, they just put across their agenda as a top priority. Come what may, they expect that people have to achieve this, even if they see that there is a problem or there is a short of skill or there is a short of resources an individual has. They say, no matter what, I just want results. If that is the case, I'm sure the trust will beat. But if you are understanding those emotions of people, that's why people say emotional intelligence is one of the most sought after skill in being a great leader. You will see that you will build authenticity. That means how honest you are. You will build empathy and you most importantly, you will build humanity within the team that you are working. And that is the glue that bonds a good team into a great team. And that also builds a good leader to a great leader. Balancing the need for results. So I'm sure as a leader, the first task is they, anybody would expect you to do is to deliver results. And not only deliver results, but deliver results within a time span. Because if the time goes out and you are not able to deliver results, there is no point of taking all the pain and effort. That's what leadership is all about. You have to deliver results through your people by motivating them, building them and creating best out of them. But what happens when the results are not achieved? When the results, desired results are not achieved? A lot of leaders I've seen, they become panic. 
they they just fire their people they just they just corner them to the best of their capacity and this generally breaks the motivation or it just make people more broke but if you have a balancing the need of results that means you are considerate of others feeling as i said you are a champ of emotions you are okay to understand what they went through and basis that they would be able to give you a better understanding about how people can make more mistakes and they can learn from their, those mistakes and then they can move faster and try and innovate new things number 5 is to win over people the one and important thing a leader has to do is he has he or she has to work hard to win over people which will help in becoming more uh, by doing being more respectable to the ideas and perspectives that other people are giving a lot of time what happens people uh, the the leaders are only limited to their own thinking their own agenda that they have to drive the agenda from the top to the bottom to see to it that everything is implemented in toto in 100% but they are not listening to their people they are not listening to their ideas they are not listening what is happening in reality just if you are being respectful to their ideas their suggestions what can work what may not work can really help in bringing that innovation piece out of them to deliver the best so if you really want to win over people if you really want to have people follow you you also have to give them the respect of their ideas the and and see from where they are coming and last but not the least a lot of people talk a lot but their actions don't match their words so if you want to be a most trustable leader your words and action should match which means that it is not just sometimes but every time which means that whatever you say is based on a belief system and that shows your strength your your basics your your foundation is so strong that not that when nobody is watching you you are still maintaining that true value of yourself if you believe that compliance is a is a is a big problem and you don't uh, and you are a non compliant guy you don't follow uh, i mean you don't get into non compliant things then you don't get into non compliant things you will not say that if somebody is not watching me i can do something non compliant and this is what people watch it and later on in their corner talks the teams talk about it that you know my boss said something but you know when it comes to managing expenses he claims certain things which are out of the box which is not which is not permitted and that's where they don't value you and that's where they lose trust on you so that is the whole meaning of being a trustworthy leader means that you walk the talk you believe in the actions what you speak your your words should match what you say and that's what people look up to you and then you become a most admirable leader that companies are really looking forward in you that how you can you can you can be at your best well i'm sure this piece of entire information knowledge that i have shared with you that how to become an outstanding uh, admired and a great leader is simply by building trust and i also hope that you have seen one of the examples that i have shared about my own success my own failure and this entire piece of information would have given you some understanding about how to become a great leader do share your feedback and comment if this content was of some use to you it has given you some value and you would definitely work out when you go back in the field and share your experiences in the comment section below and keep in touch with me through my channel arun tukral and you can write me back on arun.tukral at hcnconnect.in if you have any questions or if you have any concern i would love to respond to you back in my next video in my next topic that i'm going to cover thanks a lot thanks for watching me stay fit stay committed and achieve bigger goals